Why, hello. Um, I have my phone now, so I can take video wherever I want to. It looks dirty as heck. Yeah, I can take video wherever I want to and upload it and stuff, which is cool. I can play Pokemon Go again. I can contact my family. Um, all that good stuff. I have a Fitbit as well. Well, that was actually pretty cool. It was like perfectly on my face and I can't do it again. Oh, oh there's the camera. Oh. Camera? Where am I? There I am. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, so I have a Fitbit. Got my phone. Those are the two th main things that I wanted. Um, still working, obviously. Uh, I have the characters made like written out um, how I want to portray them uh, and what their whole what they're what they're about basically um, so that's cool I guess I will t try some test recording videos um, for that and see how that goes um, <clears throat> other than that, I don't really have much to say. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited, I guess, to try out, like, making the skits and, uh, trying out the characters and stuff, and i th probably not going to do anything on the channels for a while, obviously, um, because everything that's going on, but I will be pre-recording stuff, editing stuff, trying to become better at the game for when I do come back, basically. Uh, so I'm going to be going through and looking at how I can edit things differently, how I can make it smoother, learning shortcuts and editing software, which is uh, a big yes please. Um, because it takes me forever to edit and it shouldn't. Other than that, um, my room's messy again. I gotta clean my room. I, that's like one of the main things that I always have to do. But I still have to do it. Um, in the progressions of lifting weights and so on and so forth I've been getting really sore in my back um like and stronger muscles raw oh, but um my shoulder on my left side like pops and stuff now so I should probably wait a little bit on that and let it heal my back hurts a lot like pretty much all the time uh, it's more like just soreness like I pulled something and then it was like painful and now it's fading but there's that I fell off a ladder that's a thing I fell off a ladder uh, two days ago because I woke up I woke up to my boss trying to get me to go to work and I went to work anyway, because even though I felt like crap and was tired and stuff, didn't get any better, got a really bad headache, kind of zoned out, I guess, on the, on the ladder, and uh, it was one of the ladders that sits up like this, wait, wait, which hand is like jacked up, okay, like that, and then um, I was on the top of it. And I, I stumbled a little bit, grabbed onto the roof, and then um, I reset my foot to get off the ladder, and it went straight through the middle of the ladder. And um, so now I have like a gash on my knee and a gash on my my leg, but that's okay. It's probably going to bruise pretty bad too. It hurts to touch it even on the second day. I don't know about today though, it probably still does. Mm, yeah, it does, so. Hasn't bruised yet though, so. I don't know, maybe it won't. 
Anyway, so I fell off a ladder. Had a headache. Went home early that day. That sucked. But, uh, yeah. And then, um, other updates. I have that puzzle that I've been working on a lot. Um, the past... I updated on it a few weeks ago. Uh, I have putty still in this. <laughs> These tubs have been sitting here since that update, but... I've added putty to it, and I'm sanding that down. I have, like, eight more tubs of pieces that I have to sand, which will take probably an hour to two hours each tub, because there's a lot of putty. It's a long time. So I've been wanting to do that once, one, like, I should probably do at least one piece per day, huh? Like, that would be easiest. What is that sound coming from outside? Wow, that is a weird sound. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I will talk to you all later, um, when I'm with, with probably a rough draft, which will be exciting. Rough drafts.